Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag the kennel. C C C Alright guys, welcome back to our eating show. Sure. Alright guys, today we're back with another mukbang and day two of Lips Tour of Turkey Challenge. Today we have some uh, turkey wings. They are chili lime turkey wings, whole wings at that. And also we have a little bit of spinach casseroles that I made. And so that is the meal for today. Right now, Dan's going to hit you a couple things before we get in this video. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give me a thumbs up, like it. That's right, guys. Hit the button, hit the bell, become part of our family, guys. Also remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the cannons moving forward, moving closer to our goal of 25K. So if you're new here, welcome to the family. Thank you so much. And if you've been here before, welcome back, fam. <laughs> All right, time to pray so we can eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourished to our bodies, Lord. Bless the hands of prepared and bless those who are less fortunate. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. Amen. So, guys, before we eat, we received a jersey from F Customs. The reason why I don't have it on right now is because I done already got a spot of food on it. So, I didn't want to wear it for the video. Boom. But it is nice and lightweight, so it says hashtag the cannons on it. Oh, you see it? That's it. That is. And then on the back of mine, I put Danny, and then I put my uh year I was born ninety two, and then we gotta get AJ's. He's on right. the way. So you can um pretty much customize these jerseys any way you want to, as far as the name goes. I think they have a different couple different styles. Too, they right? do. They have just like a regular um baseball kind of shirt. Mm. And then they're very lightweight, but good quality. Like, it's right. very nice quality. And you can put whatever you want to put on it. They have customized colors. And also, as an add-on bonus, if you put in the coupon code CANNONS Ooh. with an S, Cannons with an you S. get 10% off of your whole 10%, order. 10%, that's a whole 10%. Yeah, that's a, uh, you spend what? $100. Yeah, $10. Okay. Sanzalas. So go ahead. Yes. Over to F Customs. Link will be in our description box um, so that you can go ahead and get your jersey. Get it. Get your jersey. So custom you can be fly jersey. for the summer. She can be fly. And also, before we eat, we want to send a shout out. Happy birthday, Rosanda. Hey, Rosanda. Happy, Happy birthday to it you. It is tomorrow, Sunday. It's yes. tomorrow. Okay. But yes, it's tomorrow, so we wanted to go ahead and tell you happy birthday because our brain be right. So up yeah, y'all tell Rosanda if you see in the comments, tell her happy birthday. Yes, please do. All right, y'all. I'm All right. hungry. It's time to eat. All right, All right guys. Boys. <laughs> so um, actually, so these are uh, like chili lime turkey wings. That, like I said before, they are whole wings. I actually made a sauce to go with them. That's how, that has about that same. Flavor just a little bit more intense on the lime, and these things are falling apart. So I like falling apart. I want apart. to show you if I can. I I take the, one of the flat pieces, and every time I try to do that, it wants to. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Mm -mm. And I ain't blow long enough. Cut that boy off. <laughs> I told y'all. Yeah. It ain't even been up here that long, so it ain't the board making it hot. Uh. This is finished after right now. Good. I want to show you. Do it want me to show you? There you go. 
Well, I think I burnt my tongue for today. <laughs> Too doggone eager, baby. You got to slow down. I can't stand when I do that. Mm. It's tasty, though. Mm. I already got that little piece. Got in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. What you got in there? My cup. Mm -hmm. uh, diet cran mango. Mm -hmm. Is it musty? No, oh, it's pretty good. I ain't tried it yet. I might have to do that like I be doing other things. Put it out on the thing and let it yeah, get hot. <laughs> <laughs> Find me on this couple blues. I need to get my oxygen up. <laughs> my lungs for it. I be tired of blowing. Mm. Yeah, get everything off. It's the bomb, baby. There it mm. is. I like when I don't have to work for it and just come mm. off. Mm -hmm. Little extra sauce. Little big. Stop being hot, casserole. <laughs> you don't gotta do this. You right there. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> my house and my car. Please. What? <laughs> you say please. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Don't take mine yet. <laughs> And these little, these, I want a dip. these little back wing pieces be under underrated. Not underrated. God, why you still got steam coming off of you?
fire. Mm-hmm. Fire. Pure fire, yeah. Fire. Mm-hmm. What y'all doing today on this lovely Saturday? It's nice outside, I think. I ain't went out there yet. <laughs> Yeah. And now y'all gonna be asking me for a recipe. Mm-hmm. So, so go on and get it to them. So basically, <laughs> I tell you, these wings were pretty easy. All I did was put them in the crock pot for about four hours. <clears throat> and um, four hours on high. <sighs> then I took them out and... Um, Well, I ain't gonna lie. Initially, I would have took them out. I turned them to warm because I didn't. We weren't eating right away, so they sat in a liquid. So basically, I put them in the crock pot with some seasonings and um, uh, chicken. Um, no, it's water. I didn't use the chicken broth. I was going to, but I, you can use chicken broth if you want to. But I just put it in there with a bunch of seasonings and water. I didn't use the chicken broth because I used more seasoning than I anticipated. So, so I just put water. And I let them cook for four hours. Then I took them out of that like nice brothy liquid later on after they so they sat in there for a little while on warm, and they broke down a little bit more than um, I initially wanted. But I don't care because I like my meat, but I'm not the bun anyway. And so then I transferred them to a pan, and then you can either go in the oven or you can go in your air fryer. But when I, once I transferred them to a pan, I had to, uh, I have a chili lime rub. And I sprinkled it on because once you take it out the pot, the flavor's in there. But, you know, of course, it was in a liquid, so there's not really anything on the outside. So I just took a chili lime rub. And one of the um, one of the uh, seasons I put in the crock pot I was cooking was a lot of tahini. And so it already had that flavor to it, probably. Then I took the chili lime rub, put it on the outside, put it in the oven, baked it off for a little while so the skin will kind of get a little bit tight on top. And uh, then I made a sauce from the uh, <clears throat> the broth that was left over in the crock pot. <clears throat> and um, I added a little bit of lime juice to it, along with a couple more, uh, some more tahini and a couple more seasons. It's, it's, it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Spanish casserole recipe, I'll give it to you at another date. I'm gonna make a, a video. Cause I can't really explain how I could, but. Woo! Mm-hmm. Hot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. What? Ooh, you know how you eat swallow something hot in there. In your back. You feel it in your bite. Honey, I'm, I'm <laughs> sick of this casserole. Stop being hot. I'm sick of it. I'm gonna mess my mouth up for the day. I don't know, man. But, uh. You need to stop its mess. One thing you can work, like, because it has good better cheese in it. Mm hmm. Put that up there. Let that cool out. I ain't gotta worry about Push, being backed up because that spinach is gonna come in like a savior. <laughs> <laughs> that spinach is gonna clear you out. Yeah, don't do it, spinach, please. You know, this is probably too much. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you black know, we've been. <laughs> it's probably folks, too much, but. Black folks be like, yeah. But I'm gonna do it anyway. All right. <laughs> you know, we've been eating a bunch of salads and stuff. And I'm like, why do I keep doing this when I go to the restroom? And I forget. <laughs> I forgot. And there's nothing holding me. <laughs> well, leafy green. <laughs> leafy green. <laughs> it's cooling down now. It's not so bad. 
unless I don't prep my mouth to, you know. The sad part about this? I don't care if I eat this whole bowl. Okay. <laughs> it's just spinach, but. <laughs> It's so good. I said myself I wasn't gonna cry. I said myself I wasn't gonna cry, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's so good right now. It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, AJ. <laughs> he about didn't say my name right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too bad on you. <laughs> you know you introduced me to these, uh, Vegetable casserole that I had never had, and I was like, Oh my god, mm -hmm. <laughs> they be so good! Fire. Well, the one your grandma is it your grandma and your aunt make the that's broccoli? Right. Yeah, it's the broccoli guys, bro. That's good. Well, so this is pretty much the same recipe, I just tweaked it for the spinach. Mm -hmm. Add a couple different things that don't go in the broccoli casserole, mm -hmm. and then maybe you know, remove a couple things that do. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can say this again. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about some controversial food combinations and see if they're disgusting or not to us. So this first one was, or is, ketchup and eggs. Ooh. I've eaten eggs and ketchup before. Mm -mm. Scrambled eggs. Mm. I've it's, never done it. It's not that to. bad. It's. I mean, I guess like when I have hash browns on the same plate and it touched the egg, I still eat it. I mean, yeah, it's not but that I bad. Don't want it. But ketchup is kind of overpowering to me sometimes, and I think that's the thing. You put too much, you'd be like. Mm. Well, I was trying to figure out in my adolescent, why did I put ketchup on everything? Because that's what kids do. <laughs> Everything, chicken nuggets, <laughs> fries. We like stuff in excess when you're a child. Mm -hmm. you get older, I mean, like, I will OD with ketchup. When you get older, you start. Ketchup can be kind of strong. Mm -hmm. It can. Yeah. Which, even now, you see, like, when I have a hamburger, I don't put ketchup on it. Because I just, I don't know. I don't want it. That or mustard. Yeah, I have a mayo burger. I need burger. that whole combination. Yeah, you be wanting it ketchup, all. Ketchup, mayo, mustard. <laughs> you can't have on it On a all. burger because, you know, the mayonnaise will bounce out that and I'm always a little light-handed with the mustard because too much mustard. Yeah. Just, but I just like the way they taste together on them both. Mm -hmm. All right, ice cream and fries. I've never tried that. It's like, uh, have you ever had fries in a Wendy's Frosty? Yeah. Somebody told me to try that, I think, on one of our videos when I was talking about Wendy's Frosty. They good. I mean, it's good. It's just something that you kind of end up doing. Mm-hmm. It's like... I mean, but, I mean, I'm not really going out of my way and be like, uh, let me go get some fries and, <laughs> and some ice cream. Apple pie and cheese. My granddad used to put cheese but and people, fig noodles. But people eat apples with cheese and stuff, so I can, mm -hmm. but it ain't nothing. <laughs> I just want the apple pie alone. Can't do what I want. I've tried fig noodles and cheese. It won't be, <coughs> but I ain't want it. Right. I, like, I wouldn't. Like you said, go out of my way to, if I eat this fig noodle, no, I eat this pie, I need cheese now. <laughs> I, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. Pineapples and pizza. For all of y'all out there putting pineapples on pizza. Stop it. <laughs> you didn't talk to Mary. <laughs> I don't want it. That's my mom. She used to buy Hawaiian pizza all the time, which I, I liked it, but I never really got into it like her. She used to buy it from Papa John's. It was, it was good, but then on my second slice, I find myself like, <laughs> uh uh, plugging the mouth because I never really, I just never got into it like her. I'm a simple type of pizza person. Yeah. Like just pepperoni is fine with me. Just cheese, mm. just bacon. <laughs> I'm fine with just those. The sweetest thing that I need that I would take on a pizza is barbecue sauce. I don't want any uh, pineapple pizza. Chocolate and avocado. <laughs> no. Who is doing that? I mean, because what does that even taste like? Because the texture 
of an avocado along with the taste for me would be too much with chocolate. Right, but I'm just like, that's Y'all all you like, What is to. that anyway? What does that even taste like? It seems like to me the chocolate would just overtake the <laughs> avocado and you would just get a bunch of creamy Oosh. mess in your Burr, mouth. Stop that. Oh, this next one is disgusting. Peaches and cottage cheese. Well, yeah, people do that all the time. Wow. <laughs> it's not a lot of black people do it. Stop that. <laughs> I'm just being real, but it is something. You know, people eat fruit with cottage cheese all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I thought maybe that it was me. I said maybe I just haven't really tried it. Maybe I don't know. I bought one time I bought some cottage cheese and fruit and I tried to eat that. I don't like cottage cheese on its own. Yeah, I don't either. And I tried to eat that. I said, no. Let me tell you the only time I'm trying to eat cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, first of all, is <laughs> too, too lumpy and curdly for me <laughs> to want to eat it on its own. I'd rather do the fruit with the Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense to me. And it's and it's smooth for one. Cottage cheese. I can do cottage cheese, but the only time I've ever done cottage cheese is in a salad with ranch dressing. The ranch kinda mixes in with it, makes you think it's all one thing and it kinda makes it like a creamier salad. But that's about it. I ain't, I ain't, mm, mm, that cottage cheese be too much for me. <laughs> and it don't, it don't really got like a strong flavor. It's just. Mm. Only time I want it is in lasagna. Don't give it to me no other way. I need noodles, <coughs> tomato <coughs> sauce, other cheese. <laughs> right. I need all of that. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to eat it. I've never ate it alone. And I've never ate it with fruit. And I, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> This next one, I don't see how this is disgusting. Ranch and pizza. You have to not like ranch, in my opinion. Right. Because, I mean, I don't... AJ does this probably every time he eats pizza. I don't do it every time, but I will every don't now and then. Like I don't do it every time. You don't? No. You got sauce in your beer. I thought you did most of the time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for telling me. I've probably been sitting there the whole time. It ain't, because I've been over here looking at... Mm -hmm. You just, you just spicy in these last videos. I'm going to slap them curls out your head. What are you talking about? You being spicy. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, he said it. I was like, yes. Yes, you said Sharon is Sharon. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I guess he don't do it every time. But I don't see nothing disgusting about that. Uh -uh. Uh, they don't go together. Right. I would have, I would have thought they did. They made a whole sauce called ranch dip pizza. Oh yeah, hitting valley in them. All right, so. and them. Uh, potato chips and chocolate. I've seen that. You know the bags of. Mm -hmm. I've seen the chocolate covered potato chips. I never tried it though. I see it sweet, salty, and um, uh, so. It little... probably will work. I mean, I guess it's. Somewhat like a chocolate covered pretzel, right? Yeah. Around that same vein. I like yogurt covered pretzels. The strawberry yogurt. Mm hmm. They be good, but they got a lot of calories. You can't eat the whole bag. Um, biscuits and gravy? That's nasty. I guess for some people. Baby, give me some white gravy and some biscuits for breakfast. Well, we might, we're trying to mother in South. Stop that. <laughs> We do biscuits and gravy around here. Yeah, baby, give me some white gravy and a biscuit. A little pepper in there. <laughs> mm, sausage. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Sausage gravy. Yes. Yeah, I eat it. At one point when I first tried it, I ate it for a long time in a row. And then I overdid it. <laughs> and I that? didn't eat it for a while. Both I just got, kept eating it every day. Both Jenkins got five biscuits gravy. That's one of the few things I like from McDonald's now. Really? You know, McDonald's is kind of like, you know, everybody used to like, I mean, at some point probably really loves McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Some people just, you know, really love McDonald's all their life. But I don't know. I think I just ate it too much. So there's not too many things that I, like, would go crazy for at McDonald's. I can't eat it, but. Right. Um, but their biscuits gravy is pretty good. I might take them over by Jangles. It's, it's, I don't know. It's got a nice, it's a little, mm -mm. 
But um, those are two places if I, that I know if I really just want to get a uh, biscuit crepe. Mm -hmm. Go to Bojangles. Go to McDonald's. Man, I ate that so many days in a row. Oh, yeah, After you. like. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Honey, after uh, day nine, I said, this is enough. All right, I'm old sick gravy. now. <laughs> oh, gravy eating. Mm -hmm. Who eats gravy nine Every days Every day. Row? I did. I was in college, honey. <laughs> Every day I'm pulling up. It was the gravy that yes, got you. Yes, can I have? <laughs> and then the sausage, because the sausage, the sausage, um... The seasonings in the sausage, you eat that every day. Yeah, that can make you tired of it. Mm -hmm. So that Honey, I know I it might have not been nine days, but it was definitely a week every day. Um peanut butter and pickles. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't like nothing with my pickles except for pickle. Mm -hmm. Talking about except for pickle. You see these people on TikTok putting that ranch seasoning in them pickles? Mm -hmm. The salt. Alright. I'm gonna feel my already, pressure go up. You know, a serving size for most pickles is not even a whole pickle. It's like half a pickle or a third of a pickle. Mm -hmm. And it's already in there. And then in a serving, it's got 890 milligrams of salt. What? I ate the whole pickle. I done ate two days worth of uh my sodium intake. That's crazy. Like I and I love pickles, but I recently had to slow down once I started realizing. Like, I mean, I may not slow down like I was eating them. Like, <laughs> but I just, like, I probably limit myself to, if I eat a pickle, it'd probably be like one a day because that's just too much. I I told you that my mom, like, because I've always been a fat kid, she would get at us as a snack, and I'm like, all this salt. <laughs> I'm be skinny with so high blood people pressure. So people putting them ranch seasoning packets oh, with that God. MSG. In there, so don't be surprised when your blood pressure go through the roof. That's I, that's one thing too. I think you know most people blame like salt for like high blood pressure and the reason why, um, you know like a lot of that's like a big thing today. Everybody has high blood pressure issues and stuff. They just blame it, but I don't think it's the table salt. I really don't. I think it's all the um the the compounds. That act like salt, mm -hmm. like the um, the mono, the MSG and the nitrates that they put in the deli meat, the nitrites, all those things that are like sodium compounds and are like made in a lab. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, people eat table salt all the time, and people used to eat table salt all the time with, not, with all these blood pressure issues. But the more and more you get, they uh, make this processed food and inject this stuff in the. Uh, that's when all of a sudden you got mm -hmm. everybody with high blood pressure issues. I don't think now if you have high blood pressure issues and you're eating a lot of table salt, I think that it's gonna contribute to your high blood mm -hmm. pressure. But I think the main reason the main people develop it if it's coming from food is because of all the the processed foods and the, and the type of salts they put in it. You got MSG and like because honey, I don't know how many oodles and noodles <clears throat> I ate. Right. From ages how, uh, five really, to fifteen, <laughs> for people who who develop high blood pressure from food and stuff like that, or you know what I'm saying, or they develop it, you know, um, younger. Really look at how much natural food they're probably eating, or if you if you one of those people, check how much natural food are you eating. Are do you eat snacks? And look at the ones. That, look at look at the, the back of the label. It's not just salt. It's all the other mm -hmm. salt compounds. That's, that's that's I'm pretty I'm pretty firm on that. I say it's not just the salt. I think that's I think that's the main reason why. But anyway, that's off topic. What? Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna do one more because I didn't know that we've been up here this long. Um, ketchup and noodles. I did that. I used to. When I told AJ I did it, he was like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy! And my noodles, like, regular, are you talking about ramen? It just said, I would think so. I just put, I put vinegar hot sauce in my ramen, and that's what I've always done. And um, ketchup just seems a little too, too thick to be thrown up in there. Man, you stirring around in there. Well, you know, I be draining all my water out, so I be needing something. 
<laughs> Coat my noodle. Yeah, we about to go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize we were so. Ah. But y'all, some of y'all like longer videos, so you know, just uh, drop a, a camera emoji down there if you like. If you prefer our videos to be a little longer, and we might drop it down. Yeah, I put Africa's Ooh. best in my head, and Danielle said my hair smell like the year ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. <laughs> and I was like, well, I that, told, <laughs> that blue magic. I told her to smell it, and she said, "Why it smell like ninety five? Because I why said, I do what? it?" And she said, "What you put?" I was like, "Africa's best." Yeah. Just a, some oil, you know. I like I like Africa's best. You know, it nurtures me, helps me grow. Africa's best sit on my hair, so it's just... Yeah, it, don't, it don't sit on mine. Well, you know. My hair soaks up stuff. I'm teen. It be like... I have low porosity hair, so I need I need uh, avocado oils and stuff like that. Sometimes I think I stuff sit on heavy. my hair. Yeah, sometimes I think stuff sit on my hair, cause I, and I put it on there, and then, nope. I'm like, if I go 10 minutes later, I come back, it'll be like... It, you can see it's already... In, you can see mine, and it's white sitting up there on top of my hair. And I said, look at you, you stupid hair. I, I, I think you don't just give it a chance. No, it don't. Some stuff go on pasty. You just can't put too I'll much. I'll tell you one thing. I ain't going to keep talking. But anyway, um, I like church. The best thing that uh, has never really set on my hair and actually nourished my hair was that texture ID. So the thing that I don't like about Texture ID is it don't smell good. When I wash my hair, like, you know, put products on it, I like for it to smell. It's a personal thing. But I need smell, and it don't smell like nothing. It's just sitting up there, which I guess that new shampoo we got, it would be okay with. Cause that job smells yes. so wonderful. I feel like I'm in a spa. <laughs> that shampoo, yeah. that's right. I feel like I'm in a spa, but yeah. Try Texture ID. It's nice. But, um, yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for joining today. We really, really, really do appreciate it. Guys, remember, if you haven't already, don't leave without subscribing to our channel. Please remember to like this video. Also, guys, get us at a thousand likes. You can do it. And, I mean, we... It don't but, cost uh, you nothing. No. With a little finger click. A uh, click. And, you won't fit it later. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. We'd love to interact with you in the comment section. Share this video. Share it with anybody, everybody, your uncle, your auntie. Let them know. Because Shang is caring, so care about us. Care about us. We love each and every one of you. Do you have anything else that you can You keep getting spicy in these videos. Do you have anything to <laughs> Let me clear my throat. You keep getting spicy Do in these videos. Do you have anything to contribute? I'm going to show you what I'm made of. You need to All right.